our customers at weldmonger.com have been asking us for this kit. A good mix of all the most popular ferric cups and also a standard number five for TIG welding aluminum. There's a reason why so many really good TIG welders prefer a number five cup for TIG welding aluminum. It limits the amount of cleaning action that wanders outside the puddle and it just focuses the arc a little bit better. But for steels and stainless steels and chromoly, you're going to want to use a gas lens. This one will let you use all the popular ferret cups from the 8 all the way up to the BBW, clear and ceramic. The number 8 Pro Clear works great on steel and stainless steel, gives great shielding and really good visibility. It really lights things up, lets you look through the cup when you need to, but mainly if you're having trouble seeing that puddle, it really does light the way just like a light bulb. To switch over to a ceramic cup, just pull the cup off, remove the o-ring and thread a cup on. Switching back and forth from ceramic cups to clear cups is pretty dang easy. The Jazzy 10 Ceramic is one of my favorite cups for stainless and chromoly. It's durable, but it also gives great gas coverage and you can use a really long stick out when you need to with only the same gas that a number 8 takes. 20 CFH will do the job. There are times when you need a little bit bigger cup with a little bit longer stick out and you still want to have really good shielding. A number 12 will do you at about 25 CFH. This is plain carbon steel, but it's still doing a great job shielding. Two different insulators are included to make sure it'll fit your torch, along with three back caps, along with three pieces of 332 tungsten. That was the 17 kit. This is the 920 kit. This little collet body also works with O-rings for clear cups. If you got any doubts on what style torch you have, this little graphic should help you. A quick glance at your collet body should tell you which torch you have.